A very scary incident on Wednesday in Oakland, but now it appears A's pitcher Brandon McCarthy is recovering from the Sporting News Studios. I'm Tom Vandevoort with Chris Barr, baseball editor. Chris, first of all, what happened to Brandon McCarthy on Wednesday? Well, this is one of those things, you know, you don't really want to ever watch it twice, but uh, and then they show it in slow motion, it makes it worse. But uh, he, you know, straight baseball game, delivered a pitch, and it came, unfortunately, right back at him at probably more than 100 miles an hour, hit him, you know, right about here, side of the head, and knocked him down. Never lost consciousness, walked out the field under his own power, and seemed like everything was going to be okay, but then we found out you know, soon after that he had surgery um, for a skull fracture, for a brain contusion. So it got pretty serious there, but it looks like he's going to be all right. And the third part of that was an epidural hemorrhage, which is bleeding between the dura mater that covers the brain and the skull. So that puts a lot of pressure on the brain and could be extremely dangerous. I guess they were able to relieve that in surgery. Do we have any idea about what the prognosis is here? Uh, well, it sounds like he's going to be okay. Of course, the question, you know, once we get past the, you know, is he all right, is his life in danger, the question is when will he pitch again? And that we don't know that. And it wouldn't be shocking if, you know, he doesn't pitch again this season, obviously. That's, that's a pretty serious injury. And, you know, you're going to need some time to kind of, you know, just mentally recover from that on top of right. the physical injury. So, um, you know, you don't like to focus on how it's just going to affect the A's, but eventually you've got to come to that point. And, you know, they've already lost Bartolo Colon to a suspension, and now McCarthy was kind of their veteran, you know, right And having a good year. Very good year. He's been hurt off and on. He's had arm problems, but, you know, he, he was kind of their veteran go-to guy on a very, very young rotation, and now they've, they've lost him, at least, you know, on the field-wise. He can still be there for, right. you know, mentoring purposes, but... Uh, it makes their job a lot harder. They've got a lot of guys who are 23, 24, 25 years old now who right. are really That veteran heavily. presence is really important. Uh, last question for you before I let you go. You know, a few years ago we saw the, the coaches start put on a helmet out there. Obviously the pitcher is really the one guy that's close enough to that batted ball to be in it could, you know, some kind of danger. Is there any talk or any thought? Has there ever been about giving the pitcher some some protection? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. And I, I think maybe that's something they'll, you know, they'll think about. But this is, it's, you know, thankfully very rare that something like this happens. Right. And you know, but you're right though. They are put at a complete. I mean, the batter, they're just as close yeah. the bat to the batter as the batter is to them. Now, obviously, they're not going to be put in a position as frequently as the batter is. But when the the ball comes off the bat, you know. You know there's nowhere to hide, and you know it's hide. it's like that. It's it's. And a you second. can't get out. Of, I mean, he can't get out of the way. No, I mean he was lucky. I guess that he turned his head this far. Right. Otherwise, it's his face. I mean, I don't know if that's yep. any better or any worse, but you know, it's yeah, it's scary. And he's six seven too. So I mean, he's a tall guy. He's that much closer to the right. plate by the time he releases the ball and he's on the mound. So right. it's unfortunate, but you know, maybe there's something they'll consider, but uh, not not. Not yet, anyway. All right, there you go. Our best to Brandon McCarthy, of course, from the Sporting News Studios. For Chris Barr, I'm Tom Vandervoort. Thanks for watching.